Moving on to open and short circuits, I've mentioned short circuit kanina. So, open circuit. An electrical circuit is an open circuit if it lacks a complete path. Kapag hindi daw natin na kompleto yung path between the terminals of its power source and has an infinite resistance which means that it has zero current flow through it for any finite voltage across it. So, an open circuit is sometimes called an open. Example, in this illustration, this is considered an open circuit. Simply because, hindi mo na buo yung complete um, path for current. Siyempre, kapag hindi nakakonek itong wire na to dito sa bulb na to, naka-off yung circuit natin. So, pag naka-off yung circuit, bukas ang linya, open siya. If it is closed, kapag kinonek natin itong kabilang dulo na to, dun sa bulb natin and the voltage source is able to supply current, then, closed na yung circuit natin because the path is already complete, current is already flowing, in short, naka-on ang circuit. Thus, pag off ang circuit, open circuit siya or simply open. Kapag on ang circuit, closed circuit siya or simply closed. So, based on the discussion a while ago, Kapag daw open ang circuit natin, infinite daw ang resistance. That is mainly because you have an air gap dito. And as far as we've understood in our lectures, we know that air has a very, very huge amount of resistance, also considered an infinite value. So, kung meron tayong infinite resistance dito, sobrang laki ng resistance natin, hindi magpo-flow si current. Thus, we have zero current in the circuit. Zero current. Next, short circuit. So, a short circuit is an abnormal connection between two nodes of an electric circuit in then intended to be at different voltages. So, a short circuit is simply a low resistance connection, low resistance connection between the two conductors supplying electrical power to any circuit. So, not all short circuits are intended or desired. Most of the time, hindi siya ginugusto sa mga circuits natin. Kaya nga, tinawag siyang abnormal connection. But sometimes, short circuits are, are used pa din, theoretically based on its definition, that it is a low resistance connection between two conductors supplying electrical power to any circuit. So, Let's move to an illustration first. We have here an example of a single loop circuit again. Isang loop lamang. We have a bulb connected to a battery. Okay? So, yung positive terminal of our battery is connected through this red wire going through the bulb. The negative terminal of the battery is connected to the other end of the bulb and is in black wire. Normally, an electrical circuit when a wire is insulated red, ibig sabihin positive line yon, and a wire insulated black, that's negative line. So, supposedly you have different potentials. Here, you have a positive potential and a negative potential at the other end. So, kapag daw pinagkabit mo yung dalawang linya or dalawang points na magkaiba ang terminals, isang positive, isang negative, through a low resistance connection. So, syempre, yung mga wires natin which are made of copper, usually, very low ang resistance nyan. So, kapag yung wire, kung nilag yung dalawang linya, positive and negative, then you create a short circuit. In this case, of the illustration, this is not desired, kasi kung ito daw ay battery, at kinabit mo siya ng shorted, dun sa bulb natin, it will be discharged very quickly and will heat up due to the high current flow. So, tatandaan natin yung behavior ng kuryente natin is to find a very low resistance kung saan pwede siyang dumaan. So, kung meron kang short circuit dito, bago pa makarating yung kuryente papunta dun sa bulb, so lalabas yung ating current from the positive based on our current flow notation, lalabas siya from the positive terminal, Pagdating niya dito sa junction na to or sa node na to kung saan nandun yung short circuit mo, mapapansin or masasense ng current mo na low yung resistance dito sa line na to. Kaya instead of flowing, going to the bulb, 
dito na lang siya dadaan kasi mas maliit yung resistance niya. So, after going here, instead of going to the bulb, there's a possibility, bumalik na lang yung current papunta dito. So, ang tendency, lahat ng current natin, or majority of our current, flows through the short circuit. Thus, hindi siya nasusupply sa bulb. Or another possible scenario for this is, mag-supply yung source natin ng current, instead of just flowing through the short circuit, pwede namang dumaan yung iba pang, iba pang current natin papunta dun sa kabilang line, since low resistance pa rin naman yan. Mas maliit nga lang tong short circuit line mo, in terms of resistance. Ano? So, mayayari, yung current na makakapasok dito, dadaan siya dun sa bulb, but instead of going out, papunta dun sa ating battery, babalik na lang siya dito sa short circuit line kasi mas maliit yung resistance niya. So, ang tendency, magsusupply tayo na magsusupply ng current. Yung current mahati sa dalawang tos, may mga current na babalik ulit dun, may mga current naman na matatrap na lang dito sa loop na to. So, habang ito yung nagsusupply, nadadagdagan ng nadadagdagan yung current na nagpo-flow dito sa loop na to, lalaki siya ng lalaki, thus, magkakaroon tayo ng influx or influx of current dyan, kaya magiging malaki yung current dito sa line na to, until such time sobrang laki ng current, mainit na yung linya, pwede mag-sacrifice either your bulb, puputok siya, or itong short circuit mo um, masunog siya, because of very high heat kaya normally, kapag may mga nasusunog laging sinasabi, electrical problems, because of possible short circuiting although alam naman natin na short circuits are not intended for, halimbawa sa mga bahay natin, bakit kapag nagkakasunog, sinasabi pa rin na electrical faults yan, or short circuits yan, that is because of, there's a possibility na yung mga linya natin, syempre may mga mababait tayo sa bahay natin, diba? nakakain nila yung mga lines, so pag nakain nila yung mga lines, ta nagtatalop, natatalupan yung mga insulations, in the end, nagkakabit yung mga different potential lines, so pag nag-connect yung different potential lines mo, shorted yun. So, kahit pa hindi naman kasalanan ng engineer, dahil meron ka lang mga mababait sa bahay mo na hindi matiis yung mga wire or mga kable mo dyan, ayun, nagkaka-short circuit at nagkaka-problema. Kaya naman, it's better that you always have maintenance procedures on your electrical systems sa bahay. So, consult kayo ng mga electrical engineers or electricians for that. So, an example of the application of short circuit is simply your arc welding. You can simply read this to understand. 